Hi all, I'm Tim Olson from Evolution Software. In today's video tip, we'll show you how to convert a 2D image into a 3D logo using Adobe Illustrator and VFN. The resulting model is suitable for 3D printing or rendering. Our approach will import an image file into Adobe Illustrator, use the trace tool to create outlines and then export as a DWG file. Then we'll switch to VCAD where we will import the outlines and extrude into solids. In our example, we have a 2D logo stored as a ping. We're going to open the file in Adobe Illustrator. Then we're going to go ahead and select the Image Trace tool. The Image Trace tool is a very powerful tool for converting images into reusable data in Adobe Illustrator. It also has the ability to create paths of an image. Next, we'll select the View Outlines option. Then we'll display the presets. We will use the Six Colors preset in this example. Explore to find the preset that works best for you. Once the proper outlines are found, select the Expand tool to convert the outlines into paths. Finally, export the outlines as DWG. Now let's launch VIACAD and import the DWG file. We'll use the Extract Units from File to preserve metric or inches. Next, we'll orientate the view to isometric and ungroup the outlines. Adobe Illustrator has grouped all the profiles as one, where we want one solid per profile. Now let's zoom up and tear out the Solid from Profile tools and select the Extrude tool. In the data entry window, we'll select extrude by distance. Next, we'll pick each profile that we want to extrude. AI duplicates paths, so we need to pick just one. For the leather 9, we need to hold the shift key and select the outer and inner counter contour. Now let's move to the shark outlines. For the main body, we're going to need to clean up some of the overlapping profiles. VIACA needs a closed, non-intersecting profile to produce a proper solid. To correct this profile, we we'll use Show Points on the Curb and the Remove Spline tool. Once we're finished with this profile, we can move on to the profile just to the right of this and clean it up. Again, we'll get rid of the additional profiles. Then we'll zoom up and likewise do a cleaning up by showing the points and manipulating the control points of the spline to smooth it out. Once we correct it, we can now extrude the main body consisting of the outer profile and three inner cutouts. Next, we'll go ahead and use the Solid Extrusion by Vector tool, and we will use the Vector tool to extrude the outside of our logo down. Then we'll select the inside profile and extrude it down as well. But we're going to go ahead and select the solid and activate the gripper and just slide it down a little bit to give it some depth for our renderings. And speaking of rendering, let's go ahead and uh, render this up, see where we stand. And we'll just use our defaults within ViaCAD for rendering. And we can see we have some nice contrast between our text and, and logo. Now let's go ahead and match up some of the colors we have in the original logo. And we will do this by uh, selecting each of our different components and assigning a color to it. So we'll do a darker blue to the shark body and a, another color to the inside of the case. And then for the F and X, we'll pick a black. 
and for the 9, we'll pick a red. Now let's go ahead and render it up. And you can see our final logo uh, completed by extruding the model. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to visit us at uh, masterviacad.com for more ViaCAD tips and videos.